Well, third place Melbourne faced a danger game at the MCG today as it came up against the league's big improvers in Footscray. The Bulldogs haven't really done too much wrong lately. A gutsy effort at Football Park against Adelaide. Great win over Hawthorne at Waverley. And last Sunday taking the points from Richmond at the Western Oval. And throw in Doug Hawkins, 250th. And it could have been a recipe for a demon disaster. Melbourne, though, has kicked 150 points more than any other club this season. And with the likes of Bennett and Cuthbert in front of goals, it's easy to see why. Campbell and Glenn Lovett came in for Spalding and Stretch, while for the Bulldogs it was McPherson, Wigney and Terry Wallace for Cracker, Kellett and Del Rey. Dennis Committee and Sandy Roberts are our commentators and tonight we pick up play with highlights of the first half. Good looking kick into this slight breeze. Steins up high, couldn't take it. Royal busy again across the leaping Libby, who opens proceedings with a goal. Not a good kick, touched off the boot. Steins has got it, claimed by Cullen. Forced to Glenn Lovett. The boots it back towards half court for the Demons. Owen in from the side did well. Cuthbertson in the congestion. Good hand pass to Bennett. Jackson, great goal. Towards Bennett territory in front of the pack. Jackson waiting for it to be spooned forward. That's the way it goes. Cleverly done by Sean White. And a very clever kick by Ricky Jackson. Swings it round to the rocket. And it came. What a good kick to finish. Owen directly in front. Pops another one through for the Demons. And uh, having his best season, Glenn Coleman. Ooh. Ooh. Georgie Artisan Baxter. An opportunity for the Dogs to score. Charles wins it. Down in front of Brian Royal. Light misty rain may make it a little difficult for the players. Oh. Beautifully picked up by Cameron. And have a look at that for a shot at goal. Oh. The youngster has booted a beauty. Pretoria gets it out to the advantage of Cameron. Can he do it again? He keeps it in. Atkins on the assist. Hard against the boundary line. Pulls it back. Footscray have got the numbers down there. Did Hawkins kick it or Charles? Charles is claiming it. It's a goal. Kevin Dyson. Going deep into attack with a drop punt into the square. Wine in front. Oh, looks a pretty good snap. It's a goal. Can't take it on the half volley. And again, Peter Rowe for Melbourne. Clears wide. Todd Vine is on the outer wing. And he's got a chance to run away. One bounce. Then kicks low in towards half forward. And a good diving mark taken by Campbell. Campbell's drop punt. Oh, it looks pretty good. That's a very handy goal for Melbourne. Cameron inside the attacking 50. Wigney a half chance, couldn't control it. Hawkins somehow comes out with the ball. This will test him. Right on the boundary line, it's bending back. That's a magnificent effort. That's close. I think it's a goal. It is. Yes, it was a magnificent effort by Doug Hawkins, and at half-time it was Melbourne leading by seven points. Let's go back to the MCG now, and we pick up play at the start of the third term. We started the second half at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. The Demons lead by seven points, 49 to 42. Wind wins it down. Terry Wallace is on the ground now. Off the ground by Atkins. Glenn Lovett gets the kick inside the attacking 50. Long kick. Cuthbertson over the ball, pushed off it. Jackson scrambles one about five metres forward Cuthbertson in the grasp Ford got it to Owen that wasn't his intention Melbourne get the first goal of the second half Rod Owen his second and Footscray making a mistake and paying the price no real authority in trying to get that ball towards the boundary line Owen swooping and getting the quick kick and a similar start to that of Footscray in the second quarter at that end of the ground. So back to the middle once more with Wine and Steins. Well, the bounce is not a good one. Terry Wallace tried to take it. He couldn't. Steins got a long handball over the top. Atkins unable to control it. Liberatore. Quick kick towards half forward. Uh, taken by Cullen. Plays on quickly to Coleman from 50 metres. Proppy kick in towards the forward line. Oh, Wallace juggles. Terry Wallace coming onto the ground for the first time. We'll have a shot 35 metres out, almost directly in front.
So the veteran the chance to reply. And he does. First goal to Terry Wallace. And a good one for the Dogs. 8-7. Plays 7-6. Gully marked that one. Going back with the flight of the ball, Terry Wallace juggling it. And eventually raking it in. Twice best and fairest at Hawthorne, twice at Footscray. Back in the middle once more with Wind and Steins. Better bounce. No decisive winner. Clark to half forward, but no one at home. And Steve Wallace takes the mark. His fifth mark for the day. Heads towards Glenn Coleman. Punched away from him out in front of Atkins and Ford. It's the latter who takes it and storms through the middle. Long and low up towards the half forward line. But a very good mark taken by Peter Rowe. Goes across the ground. Steins lurking in that area. Chip short to Sean White. Pumps it with the left foot over the centre. But only as far as Peter Foster. Dropped a heavy one earlier on in the game, but has recovered well. Foster goes to Ford on the wing. He's got Stuart Wigney on the right half forward flank. Runs his full distance, then kicks with a right boot. In towards goal, goes over the top and through for one behind. So the margin now is one straight kick. Tony Campbell to bring the ball back into play. He kicked a goal for Melbourne in the first quarter. Now back in defence. Wine couldn't complete the juggle. Viney tapped it away from him and then was quick to apply the tackle on McPherson. Brett Lover does well. Goes out the back door to Clark, the former bomber. Goes to the left half forward flank. And a good mark. Gee, Not this. pay. Oh. To Stephen Phoebe, who is somewhat perturbed. And so too is the Melbourne crowd. They have been all day, haven't they? That seemed to mark. It was the ground that forced the fumble. Boundary throw in. Dyson waiting in front. Can't control it. Flicks it out. Brett Lovett was he pushed in the back? Not according to the umpire. And another throw in. 8-7 plays 7-7. The Demons lead. Throw in on centre wing. It's cold but fine now. Had some rain in the second oh. term. Terry Wallace didn't have the ball and will get the free kick on the wing. Wallace kicked Footscray's last goal. Didn't see action in the first half. Kicks down towards half forward. Road waiting behind. Glenn Lovett, who's played well, scrambles a kick towards centre wing. Todd Viney, who's been busy, through the wing towards half forward. Foster in best position. Takes the mark uncontested. Runners outside. Licks to kick. Finds McPherson. Inside the centre square, Steve McPherson props. Little check kick finds Charles. Well, Charles was surrounded by four Melbourne players. McPherson took the risk and it came off. Justin Charles has kicked two goals already. An improving young player. Has great agility and normally a pretty good kick. And if he boots this. Watch out for the war dance, because he'll be wrapped. Charles kicks. It's close. It's home. And there it is. <laughs> Inhibited young man. 8-7 <laughs> apiece. Centre bounce was won by Scott Wine. Advantage is paid. Suddenly the ball running the way of the dogs. Or oh, Royal goes down towards the half forward line. McPherson's kick under pressure goes out of bounds on the foot. Peter Rode to bring it back into play from the back pocket. Coleman got in front of Steins but couldn't take the mark. Atkins goes over the top towards Wigney. And together with the ball, he goes over the line. Melbourne looking to consolidate their position in the top six. Footscray hoping to keep their finals hopes alive with this game. McPherson, Beveridge. McPherson again. Atkins. Towards the boundary line, Beveridge. 
Liberatore could have been held behind play, but it goes on. Wine sets himself. Wallace, Royal, Coleman just gets his kick in time. Long, penetrating kick. McPherson, too slow. Liberatore at the bottom. Brett Lovett could have been leg. He was, says the umpire. And he will take it in the back pocket. Tony Campbell's got a big job down there, giving away a lot of height to Justin Charles. This is Lovett in the back pocket. Members side with a kick. Coleman's in front. Steins pushed in the back. No free kick. Yes, there is a whistle. Now the advantage is paid. Puts Grant all sorts of trouble, but they work it out. Atkins got it to Cullen. 55 metres out from goal. Cullen, that was ambitious. Paid the price. Glenn Lovett got it to Viney. Well played by Ford. Away comes Rode. Road goes long towards Harford. Cuthbert's an out in front. Eppleston has done well in that duel. Got a timely fist in there. Winter has it hard against the boundary line. Sweeping hand pass back to Road, who's run on. Long kick down towards the kickoff line. Gow got a fist on it. Off the ground, Jackson. It's a goal. A bit of luck for the Demons. Jackson gets his second. They haven't had too much today. Gow got a fist on it, opposed to O'Dwyer. The ball hit the ground, and Jackson, always the opportunist, going off the ground. I think he shinned it through, but that was good enough. So Melbourne lead by six points. No rain now for probably three quarters of an hour, and I wonder if Darren Bennett may have an injury problem. Well, it could be the case. 61 plays 55. He ran off, didn't he? Wind. Could have been an arm injury. Wins it, but it'll be a free kick to go the way of Melbourne to be taken by Ford to Lyon. So Gary Lyon to send his team into attack. He's looking for the torpedo, didn't quite get onto it. Cuthbertson gets the hand pass away. Beveridge pulls it in towards goal. Hits the post. Luke Beveridge, eight kicks for the day. It takes Melbourne to 9-8. Leading Footscray, 8-7. Guy again. Brings it back into play. Foster from behind. Liberatore waiting down in front. Should be able to get it away to Eppleston, who kicks back towards the centre, but kicked blindly in the mark taken by Sean White. He gets round Coleman. Oh, showing extraordinary skills and then spirals it deep into the forward line. At the back is Jackson. The boundary line may be too close. And we'll see a throw in in the left forward pocket. Well, the dogs come back and Melbourne at the moment just seem to have the answer to keep their nose in front. As Jackson has another snap at goal. Oh. Well, we've seen some miraculous goals from that end, and there's another one. First of all, it was Cameron, then it was Hawkins, and now Ricky Jackson with his third. Terrific goal, set up initially by his pace, but then the finish, as good as we've seen today. Cullen's off the ground, Georgiades is back on. Ricky Jackson has three goals. And Melbourne have skipped away once more, and they lead by 13 points. Just over 16 minutes remaining in this third term. Wigney, an unkind bounce. Lyon does well to Dyson. High kick, well inside the attacking 50. Strong work by O'Dwyer, body to body. And he was able to complete the mark. He's only about 25 metres out directly in front. Kick one so far. This to make the margin 19 points. Swings away right to left and misses. And missed that one. 10-9 to 8-7. That's been the case today. Generally, Melbourne have looked the more accomplished side. Footscray hanging on doggedly. That would have split them. As it was, O'Dwyer missed. This is Lyon. 60 metres out, pulls it back. Awkward bounce for O'Dwyer. Cuthbertson, worried out of it by Hunter. 
and a further behind for the Demons. Ten ten, plays eight seven. Paul Gow. Well, Foster's got to beat a couple here. Edouard at the front line at the back. Liberatore at the bottom gets it out of the pack. Wallace. Terry towards centre wing. Flick back in by McPherson looking for Wickney. Out manoeuvred on that occasion, however. Viney under pressure goes back to Dyson. Dyson showing maturity beyond his years. Kicks towards the left half forward flank. Solid mark by Ford. And cop one for his trouble. Goes backwards to Eppleston. And he finds Wickney. Stuart Wigney kicks towards centre wing again. He wants Coleman, who may have got into the back. Royal is there, trying to surge it forward towards Atkins, who sits over it and gets one for pushing the back. Quick thinking by Simon Atkins there. Stabs into the forward line. Charles, good lead, good kick. And Justin Charles, sensing he's got a vacant goal square, heads for home. Road gets back there now with Hawkins. Road takes a fine mark, bounces his way out of defence. Well played, showing plenty of dash. He comes up towards centre wing. Coleman will back into the pack. At the rear was Wine. Gives it across to Liberatore. Puts Atkins under a ton of pressure, but he gets out of it. Onto Wine. Here's a chance for Footscray to mount something. His kick is a poor one. An effective spoil by Glenn Lovett sees it back in the centre. Liberatore runs into Phoebe. Viney gets caught. Lion under pressure. Did get the handball away. Ford is held, and he will take the free kick. Andrew Ford alongside the centre circle. Kicks inside the attacking 50. Cuff puts it on the lead, takes the mark. He'll kick from just outside the 50. Just the one goal this afternoon. 24 for the season. It'll take a good kick. Has it got the carry? I think it has. It's a goal. Five goal term to Melbourne. 12 14 86 to 8 9 57 at three quarter time at the MCG. As we go back to the G now and some highlights of the final term. Pumps a high kick up towards half forward. Coming over the top was Gary Lyon. Now he's producing his class. Up towards full forward. O'Dwyer, the big long arms out in front. From 30 metres out, he shoots towards goal and puts it through. It's a rare appearance over the MCG. He finds Glenn Lovett. The spearing hand pass goes in towards half forward. Here's a chance for Clark. He goals. Invasion. Certainly ran his 15. O'Dwyer! Well, what's he done to the Melbourne fans? Across to Cullen. Wigney from behind. Can't take it. Shot in towards goal. That looks like another one to Glenn Coleman. Not a good kick. Lyon had to scramble. Shoveled it out backwards. McPherson was hurt. Baxter comes away with the ball. With a sweeping hand pass on the outer side to Stuart Wigney. Still outside 50, Wigney. Could have a bounce or he runs his full distance from the 50 metre line. Shoots in towards goal and that's a fine kick by Stuart Wigney. And Melbourne just a little bit too solid in that game at the MCG. For the Demons it was three goals to Jackson, Owen and O'Dwyer. And for Footscray, four to Charles and two to Hawkins. 39 point winners Melbourne.